Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD. Today I am going to be showing you a Liga BBVA Team of the Season Spanish team. So as you can see on the pitch we have our two Team of the Season players that we could afford for this 500k squad builder. We have Diego Costa who costs 410,000 coins. I bought him last night and also got Koke as well. Now there's a thing to note about this, um, probably... You know, when you see this video, these two players are going to be a lot cheaper. So the overall cost of this team will be 500,000, even though it comes to about 550. So um, before we get started by putting in the goalkeeper, guys, if you want to buy some ultimate team coins, make sure you go and check out ufifa.com. Use my discount code EGHD. The links will be in the description as well with my discount code. And also, if we can smash 500 likes on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'll also do a budget squad builder if we can smash 500 likes. So if you want to see that, make sure you drop a like on the video. So, in goal, we have Casillas, obviously Spanish, best Spanish uh, goalkeeper. Not only best Spanish goalkeeper, but also the best Liga BBVA player. Um, I actually found him to be pretty decent. I've heard a lot of people haven't had a good time with him. He hasn't been like an 86-rated goalkeeper, but for me, he was good. So, uh, nothing bad to say about him. Um, in defence, we have Puyol, uh, not Puyol, sorry, PK, and he's got 62 pace, 86 defending, 81 heading, and for someone with quite low pace, I do find him to be quite solid, kind of like a, a, a faster Mertzacker, I guess, but um, not, obviously not as tall, um, but I find him to be very good at positioning, interception, stuff like that, he's a very good player. Next player we have is 86 rated um, Sergio Ramos. All three of these guys 86 rated. That's kind of weird. I didn't notice that until now. But anyway, he cost me 10,250 coins. He stands at six foot, so he's not as uh, tall as these two, or you know, as uh, PK. And uh, he's got 80 pace, though. He's got 84 defending and 86 heading. So he's a very good um, centre back, uh, very solid, even though he's not as tall. But he does make up for it with that pace. Uh, in the left back position, we have Jordi Alba, and he only cost me 1500 coins. Now, the prices of these players are absolutely ridiculous how they've come down. Uh, but he's got 92 pace, 79 defending, and 82 dribbling. It's a very good attacking um, left back as well. Like, he goes forward very well, gets the crosses in there. He didn't get any assists. I actually found Diego Costa quite hard to play with in this formation. I think it was the formation. Um, anyway, right back, we have Juan Fran. And uh, he cost me 1,700 coins more than Jordi Alba, which was a surprise. Um, but you can also get this guy a team of the season if you can afford him. He's got 83 pace, 81 defending, and uh, 79 dribbling and 73 passing. I found him to be pretty decent. Um, again, didn't get any assists, but he did go forward quite well, working you know, with Koke as well. Uh, moving up into the centre mid position, we have Xavi Alonso, and uh, he is normally a CDM, but I moved him to centre mid and I bought him for 1,900 coins, so he's not actually that expensive even in the centre mid position, and for someone with 55 pace, I actually rate this guy quite highly to be honest, like he's got an insane long shot, I found his, uh, his shooting to be really nice, and uh, he's also got you know, for 70 dribbling, he is quite stiff, but he is a very strong player. He's got very good, uh, you know, wins a lot of headers, very good defending, and he's also got insane passing. So, really nice player to have in that central position. And uh, left mid, we have, we're going to bring in David Villa, and uh, he's obviously a very good player. Um, only got 77 pace, so it'd, it'd be nice to have um, him with higher pace. I don't think he's really that slow in real life, uh, but he's got 85 shooting, 85 dribbling, um, 71 heading, and 74 passing. And he's also got 4-star skill, 4-star weak foot. His finesse shots are absolutely fantastic. I've used him in previous uh, squad builders, but I didn't manage to get a nice finesse shot uh, in this uh, team with him. I found him, uh, I think it's mainly the actual formation of this team I think maybe something uh, 4 one 2 one 2 or something like that would have been better for him but um, he was still a good player nonetheless and uh, moving into the cam position the first cam position we have Iniesta 89 rated player first time I've used Iniesta on uh, FIFA 14 and he did play very well I mean in the cam position you're basically just sitting behind that striker there so I expected him to get you know at least a couple of goals and maybe a couple of assists but he didn't get any assists he just scored four goals and one of his finesse shots were really nice so I have to say um, he's a very good player, very nice dribbling, obviously very nice passing as well. He's not slow like Xavi, but uh, he's also got the good shooting as well, so I'd, I much prefer him to Xavi. Um, moving in over to the next cam, we have Cesc Fabregas, and uh, he's another 86 rated player, very cheap player, 4,500 coins in the cam position as well, um, so he was already in the cam position. He's got 82 dribbling. His shooting I found not to be actually that good for 79, and I didn't really actually score many goals with him, but he's got 90 passing, and his passing is very, very good. Um, his heading is, you know, okay, but he's not exactly tall, so generally I found, obviously, Iniesta to be the better cam position, and I did find him, obviously, the pace on 
Cavani and Iniesta did make quite a big difference in that kind of position. Now let's talk a little bit about Koke because as you can see here, he cost me 73,000 coins. He played seven games, he got no assists and no goals and he just didn't really make an impact on the game. I think this right mid position doesn't really suit him on FIFA 14, but I also think this formation for me, I just didn't really like it to be honest with you guys. Um, if I was playing 4 one 2 one 2 and he was in the right mid position, I'd probably say to probably get two or three assists just from crosses and cutting in and stuff like that. But uh, this is the first time I've used this, uh, used this formation, well, for a long time at least. I don't remember the last time I used it, so uh, I think that's the main reason why. But I'm in the striker position, we have Diego Costa. And I thought, you know, this is the main reason I actually use this formation. I thought there's not many times you have a player like Diego Costa who is so strong, so fast. And uh, he's the only real striker I'd imagine to actually be able to play as a, as a solo striker, uh, as a target man basically, but it just didn't work out. He didn't really score many headers. All of, most of his goals were actually on the ground. Um, he got more assists than all the cams, I think, put together. So it was kind of weird this, the way this team played, but he's a very good player. You can definitely feel that upgrade over his normal cards. Um, but as I said, like I didn't really get to fully utilize his potential. I think a different formation would have been nice, but he's still a great player. Definitely recommend him. I think when he comes down into about 250 to 300,000 coins, that is when I recommend buying him for 400,000 coins. It's just a little bit too much at the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this squad builder, guys. I'm going to leave you with some goals now. Make sure if you want to get some ultimate team coins, you check out eFIFA.com. Link will be in the description. And also, if you want a budget squad builder, something like 20,000 coins, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to me at Zekiel Gaming HD. I'll get that out for you guys in the next few days and I'll see you later. Bye.